Hey there, everybody. Well, the Jets are in the middle of an offensive overhaul this offseason. They have a new offensive coordinator, Jeremy Bates. They are looking for a new quarterback's coach to replace Bates. They have a new offensive line coach in Rick Dennison, who will be their running game coordinator, replacing this Steve Marshall in that uh, offensive uh, line coach role after the Jets' offensive line was very underwhelming last year. So will these offensive overhauls, this offensive overhaul, result in um, positive results for the Jets' offense in 2018? Well, a lot of it depends, of course, on the quarterback. You can trot out whatever coaches, whatever experts you want out there, and if you have a dud at quarterback, you're not getting very far. So if the Jets can get Kirk Cousins in free agency, and there's certainly uh, no guarantees that he will hit free agency, but if they can get him, he would certainly be a positive influence on this offense in 2018, and it would be a surprise if the Jets were as unproductive offensively as they were last year. Look, Josh McCown did some good things, but ultimately the Jets' offense ran ranked the 24th in 2017 in offensive uh, DVOA as calculated by Football Outsiders, so that's pretty low. Obviously, they were one of the least productive offenses in the NFL, according to that metric, at least. So uh, if the Jets can get Kirk Cousins, that bodes well for their offense. If they decide to draft a quarterback, you know, there might be a bit, of, a bit of a learning curve. It would certainly put a lot of pressure on Bates and whoever the quarterback's coach is to develop that quarterback quickly. Uh, the Jets certainly have enough cap space to go get a number one receiver. Uh, Jermaine Curse, Robbie Anderson, solid players. Ditto for Quincy and Nunwa. None of those guys are really number one receiver type guys. So uh, the Jets have between uh, their cap space uh, about 90 million potentially, uh, between the fact that they have a high draft pick um, and between the, the fact that they have a huge hole at quarterback and they could go get Kirk Cousins if he becomes available. Uh, they have certainly some opportunities to make this offense better in 2018 than it was in 2017. And uh, I think the Jets obviously hope that Bates can work better with Todd Bowles and the other offensive coaches than John Morton did last year. But ultimately, it comes down to the players. And if the Jets are unable to get uh, productive enough free agent signings or draft picks to supplement their roster offensively, then their offense is still going to struggle regardless of who they have in those leadership positions.